morning, San. It's May 26th, 2013. Yeah, I'm filming someplace different today. I'm visiting my grandparents. It was kind of difficult to find a place to vlog where I wouldn't be overheard. And I still kind of think I can be overheard, so I'm trying to talk a little quieter than normal. Today, I'm going to be talking about love. Again. I was considering moving on to a different topic, because I don't want to ramble about this one too much. But I still have more to say about it. I can hear people talking in the next room over, and it's unnerving. I agree with what you said about not being able to compare romantic love to platonic love. They really are different things. Romantic love tends to be a lot more... dramatic? You do indeed value the other person more than you value yourself. This kind of love seems to be intricately, or should that be intrinsically, linked to pain. That sounds negative, but I don't mean it to be. It doesn't make it any less worth it. It just raises the stakes a bit, I suppose. Think about it. When you're in love, it hurts when you can't be with the other person. It's like you're missing half of yourself. It hurts when they're upset or having a bad day. It hurts a lot if they don't feel the same way about you as you feel about them. This can make everything seem more intense, of course. The good times can seem a whole lot better and more important. Even the pain of missing them can be kind of nice. It can have a sort of beautiful brokenness to it. Sort of a side note, that beautiful brokenness can be really lovely. You can't let it distract from actual problems. If you're in a dysfunctional relationship, it can be tempting to view it as beautifully broken or dark and perfect in its imperfections. But that's not particularly healthy. I can see the appeal, though. It lets you hide in a fantasy. Also, a lot of people are drawn to the angst and intensity of an ultimately doomed relationship. Why else would stories about star-crossed lovers be so popular? And why would we read Romeo and Juliet in English? And why would Romeo and Juliet be on my t-shirt if that weren't the case? Platonic love is just as important, or more so actually, than romantic love. It's also a lot less painful, although I'm not going to say it's completely painless and easy. Friends can be a major source of drama. The main difference, maybe not the main difference, but one difference between romantic love and platonic love, now I'm not sure if this is going to make any sense, but I'm going to attempt to explain my thoughts anyway, is that while a romantic love interest will make you feel complete, but leave you missing half of yourself in their absence, the people you love platonically will make you feel complete all on your own. They love you in a way that shows you're worth it. They help you realize your own value. And, of course, you in turn do the same for them. Or at least you do if it's good friendship. Friends that make you feel worthless aren't really worth having, are they now? I think I'm done now because that's all I had scripted and I feel like I could talk more, but if I do, it'll degrade into rambling about stuff that doesn't make sense. So I hope you were able to follow that train of thought. I think I might go look at ducks now. I'll see you tomorrow. If you want to talk more about this, you can continue the same topic, or if you feel like defining other stuff, we could discuss definitions of different emotions. I've had conversations like that with people before, and they can be really fascinating. It's amazing how much you don't really think about emotions until you attempt to explain them. Or you can do whatever you want. It's your video, so do whatever. It'll be interesting no matter what you do. Oh, one last thing. When's your last day of school? I've got three weeks left. We should discuss what our schedule will be for posting over the summer. If you want to do that again this year.